Hello, my name is Matov Osman, film producer, director, and content distributor. Opportunities are here. For now, our main, our main market is television right now. All the shows we're doing, all the work we're doing right now, the, the, the easy market right now is television. However, we're having also a challenge of the product. TV is a little bit different from cinema. Uh, the, way, the way content is produced for TV is kind of easy stuff, family-oriented, communication, uh, traditional values. So it's, 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 it's a challenge right now to all people want to distribute content through the TV media. They, they need to understand that television works differently from, from cinema. For example, blood, what, what those, all those stuff that you filmmakers know, we should, we should go back and stick to stories that are, I could say, ethnic. The stories that people easily resonate with, people, the stories they understand, because normally in Uganda, we, we, we are brought up in a setup of so many people in the family. That is more polygamy, kind of. We, where we were, the nephews and everywhere and everywhere. So when we were growing up, we had a lot of fun, sometimes a lot of uh, challenges, a lot of, so many things went through us. So now people, as filmmakers, we are doing a mistake of now trying to look at Hollywood or India or Nigeria. Those people, they have a, a little bit different setup of the way they are think is it's kind of different from us. It's good as a filmmaker, we, are, we like the adventures of trying something new, trying to do that next Avatar movie. But you have to look at this, your distribution. If you want to distribute a movie, you must understand the product. What does the consumer want to take? What content does the audience desiring to take? If, we, if I take you back to the journal of foreign uh, content, we had a uh, second chance. It made numbers. We had Pango Casayo, it's a Filipino thing, normally called Ina, it made numbers. Then we should ask the question, why, 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 and why, why is the, isn't the audience buying our product? Maybe we need to, to look into that and find that, 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 that platform, the, uh, the niche that, that people really need to see. They need to be easier for us to distribute content. Uh, I'll give an example. During the times of lockdown, we had a series called Baguma, the so-called Nabosa. This was a locally made series. I don't want to say it wasn't that high note, but yes, it was good, but not to the standards. Maybe you should expect like this is the highest. But surprisingly, it made a lot of numbers all over the countries and these guys were taken to tours to make live performance shows and they could get an audience of 10,000, 15,000, which, which was huge and really they made, it, 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 made, it made numbers. So I go back and uh, I, 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 I recommend that if you're trying to, to, to create a product, understand the audience, then distribution will be a little bit easier. However, the, the, the doors are not so many that we have la, uh, thousands of them. It's a competition and it's a very small door like this. Everyone wants to go through it, so you have to be really there. Distribution budget is very important. Uh, this is what we should we, we have to look into. A film or a series, it's a product. And any product like Coca-Cola, Lato, Hot Love, all these companies, they plan, how are we going to distribute the thing? How, how, how much are we going to put into brand visibility? How much are we going to, what is the campaign for this? Uh, recently, there is a, a Tom Cruise's new movie, Mission Impossible, something, something, the one we had to, to, to try the bike and flies over the cliff. That was the campaigning kind of thing that I want to watch this movie. I would love to go to watch because they used to say, Tom Close did this. Nobody has ever done this. It's in the Guinness Book of Records. All that paparazzi, it is part of distribution and it is part of marketing. So as, 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 as filmmakers in Uganda, 
uh, we have a saying in our language abasajja ngoba zambogo twejja tufe kambu nyante if you in a ditch and you want to help yourself you have to find your way if you are a man so right now our film industry it's about it's on our shoulders as any filmmaker you must know you the producer you the distributor you the agent right now because that is the state the structures are not yet developed in 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 the industry so if you could plan earlier i would say what kind of film do you want to produce that is a question the first question if it's done what is the target audience because right now we need to do target marketing i'm making this movie for primary school students how many are there we have over a thousand schools if i produce this movie can they consume what concept do they want to consume is it about peer pressure is it about uh, this peer presidential initiative or aid strategy is it about education early pregnancy so that you plan from the script by the time the product is out then the budget for distribution is there you will get it right the mistake we do we dream of movies you get a writer you buy a script it's a good script and you buy it but have you considered the consumer one of the guys who did marketing we had a conversation and he said when you when you marketing dog food you don't market for the dog you market for the boss the one who owns the dog but the food goes to the dog so that we should we should get those concepts and we understand that my distribution has to be this direction am i making a movie for the military people am i making it for mama katale what do they want to see so it's very important once the movie is out all the necessities where are you going to sell it because now this is another question if it's not tv are you doing direct sales on a dvd are you putting it online because we know if you're putting it online the target audience you're targeting is the dubai people who are doing the kadama stuff what do they want to see they are lonely they need they need someone to bring them home closer so if you do that and if you go to that kind of marketing like online marketing that is the audience you're looking at is your product there to do that to serve them what they need that is the question but distribution budget is very important because you must and must promote your product so that the consumer is enticed to take a bite as an upcoming artist filmmaker this is your first film you from school or whatever you were you coming from i know how how it feels i know how I used to work to work with that DVD and everywhere I used to go like can you watch a little bit of it how did it how is it how how did I do stuff like that but it's it's kind of challenging it's kind of challenging and you must face those challenges cuz each one of us has a different direction has a different path we have different connections in your phone book who can come in immediately for rescue how do you connect with media personalities the radio the television people the bloggers how do you work with them to push the promotion of your movie as a beginner because by this time you don't have budget uh, there are 99% chances that the faces you used are cousins and brothers and mama and jine at home so how do you promote this thing with these media personalities how do you work with them how do you get friends to them talk to them take them take them for a cup of coffee tell them the vision talk to them they will understand because once they were once like you when they wanted the opportunities to be on on on, on radio or on tv tiktok is a little bit easier for social media in general it is a little bit easier but also it needs a strategy a proper a proper strategy you might post your scene and they ban you hard so hard don't lose keep doing it keep doing it until that one message will come man your thing is good however it is it is not a guarantee that the first movie will make money or it won't make money that i can't that i can't i i, I can't be uh, i can't be part of that that, that, that this very discussion that may, whether it will make or it won't make money but it goes back uh, i'll give an example personally when i made my movie in sinkano yebizibo and uh, good day monsobi i had an actor called patrick mujuka and uh, mama anet nanduja personally i was a nobody 
they were bigger than me. The strategy I used, I went to NBS TV Christmas and I told them, I want you guys to play this movie immediately after lunch. I don't need any money for it. I approached Record TV immediately and I told them the second movie, one is Ensinkano Yevizu, one is Gude Monsobi. I want you guys to show this movie, broadcast it for free. I don't need any money from you. The advantage was the quality and the storyline were good. So it was easy to be sold out. The movies ran from uh, that lunchtime, Christmas, you know, the mood, everyone at home, people watched and everyone was there. By 4 p.m., I was a star in Kampala. Nobody could beat me. By 4. <laughs> I, that's, that's the approach I used. I realized that I, I, nobody knew me. How can I sell out myself? And two weeks later, I got a better contract. So as, a, as an upcoming, you, you must use all means. You must find the biggest thing you have is put your work there. Don't put it under the pillow. This is my movie. This is my baby. I don't want to touch it. They will steal it. Yes, let them steal it. Let the world know who you are. Then opportunities will open up for you. As a producer right now, as a, an adult producer who has been in the game, who knows exactly how the hustle is, my brother, my brother, stop jumping where others are jumping from. They call this, they, they, this there is an open thing. Let me shoot. Plan. Plan before you mortgage your house twice in a year. Plan, because we've been through this all the time. Make a plan. Make a proper production, work with the better people. Because at this time, we expect you, for example, there are some big producers who we think they have to do better. You've surpassed Uganda. Now we expect at least to go to Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, open, opening up doors for us. So please, it's not about having 1,000 movies made by you. Make one. Make it better. Give it all it needs. We have good technical people right now, good cinematographers, good directors are here. Team up with them, share your vision with them. They, you, you have the name, they'll respect you. Team up. And what is important in all this, it is discipline and honest. You have to be honest to one another. We should stop this uh, system of going into contracts you make people sign and at the back of the mind you know i'm rushing away it, it has really drained us personally right now i can't produce i can't i can't come up with a film alone i need a team i need people around me we sit and discuss how can we pull out this scene we should stop being selfish mostly us the adult filmmakers the so-called the industry we should we should change. We should change the narrative. We need to work as a team. We need to work with these other young boys and girls who are coming from school. And the idea is creating one piece. And it's a masterpiece. It will do the rest. It's not about this week I have a movie, next week I have a premiere. What are you premiering? Is it worth your name? That should be the question. Traditional film distribution right now is phasing away because of technology. Flash, TVs with DTB, it's, it's too much now. Uh, originally it was after producing a movie, then you make copies, like a thousand of them. Then we used to take them to libraries, main stock libraries that used to distribute ar around the, the country. But right now it's, it's, it, it doesn't apply anymore. DVDs are rare now. They are not even in the city. That's what I had pre previously. So the game is on Flash. And Flash is easier. Once I have a Flash, I can share on the phone. I can share with anyone immediately. So it's no longer working. It's, it's, really, it's really now a hassle. By the time you release a movie in Kampala in the morning at 8, trust me, by 5, it's in Mubende and everyone has it. So traditional distribution of DVDs is it's phasing out. 
it was easier for us by that time. We used to put cartons on the truck. We moved from Kampala to Mbarara. You sell over 10,000 copies, had cash. People used to buy cash, cash on prop. It was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. You make a movie, you put it there and you see money coming in. By the time you reach to Mbarada, you know the next three movies you're, <laughs> you're going to make. But technology is changing everything, not only in Uganda, but even elsewhere around the world. And, uh, streaming services have merged now like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. All those are changing the way the game used to be. Independent distribution is hard, but it's the way to go. But as I've repeatedly said, you must know the product you're selling to that particular audience. Target marketing is the way to go right now. Get your movie, find how do I start? How many people do we have in church? The congregation, how much can they take from me? That's how it is. How many people performed in this movie? What are their numbers on social media? Can they help to, 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 to distribute, to, 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 to send the word, the word of the movie, the word of the movie, this is the movie, please you have to watch it. Can they really help out? So basically, that's, that's, that's now how it is. Then if we go into this uh, the systematic way like distributing on, on television, uh, that requires patient, just know exactly. It's important if you are into this business, understand 2024, what does this TV require? What does Power Magic require? What does Makula require? What does uh, Chamka TV require? What does Bukede require? Understand what their theme of the year is going to be. It will be easier for you to produce in this theme when you submit content for accusation, it takes time. You have to be patient. You have to be patient and you have to not only wait until that call is answered. Leave it there, plan other things. If you are a cameraman, that the DOP, for example, try acting as well, somewhere just to pass time. If you are an actor, that is the right time whilst you're waiting for your movie to be licensed. Try something else in the industry, it helps. At the end of the day, we grow as we all move together. TV distribution takes time. It really takes time. Just imagine if they have given me a contract of a series, a TV show, and it's gonna take two years. I'm the one taking the 8.30 time. It means you have to be patient for those two years. By the time, once the door is open, please perform as if it's your last performance. There is always one thing people have failed to understand. When you want to put your production on Netflix, Hulu, uh, whatever, the big giants in streaming, leave alone the technical aspect. The other company, the issue is they are there to make profits. They won't take your movie because it's good when it has no audience. So this is very important, people. Let us promote as much as we can in our own countries, in our own localities, that if Netflix is sure that in Uganda I have a million subscribers and they will watch this Ugandan movie every time we put it there, my friend, they will not even ask about what is the sound of quality and everything. It's money at the end of the day. However much we will try to push out, to push good sound, good everything, good whatever, when we don't have the audience that is going to acquire the content, it's going to be a lot of time wasted. We need, we need to understand. Let us mobilize our communities. Let us mobilize our own people. Uh, President Museven uh, says, be like the patriotism thing. Let us support Ugandans in, in whatever they do. The, 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 the idea of Chamuna Uganda, Sija Chigula, it doesn't stop on products. Even in movies, it's affecting us. So Netflix... Hulu can easily take on our products and they will pay dearly if we have the numbers on ground. But the problem is, even those ones, the social media darlings, by the time you put your trader there, 
Instead of saying thank you, they will hit your bullets as if you stole from them immediately. And trust me, nobody will. But we, we're trying to push and we shall get there. Effective marketing strategy. It doesn't start when the product is out. It starts before the pre-times of the production, and that is from the script. If you plan well, what are we looking at? What are we writing on? It will be easier, it will be quicker for you by the time the product is out, it doesn't take so much of the energy to be distributed or to be sold out. If you're having a good marketing plan, for example, if you talk to these companies, the big companies in Uganda, uh, the corporate companies, I won't specify the names, and you know that you're doing brand visibility, uh, product endorsement in your productions, that is, that is a plan. They will give you some little money. Don't overhype that ah, this is a corporate company. It has to give me 500 M. No, 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 no. Little money, little by little, little by little. They are, today the advertising module is changing. It's no longer they go to Kalango on TV and do that. As advertisement is changing, try to understand who are the biggest advertisers in media right now. A movie will last longer. That is one thing. Talk to them. They give you little money. But once you get little from O, from B, from C, from A, at the end of that day, one coin plus one coin, it's two coins. It will, it, will make, it will make sense and it will carry value for the product. If the product is well, and the branding from, from, from when you're just shooting and you understand what kind of concept are we going to sell? What is the trending? What are the trending modules right now? What is on? Is it the slim fit? Is it what you understand? Should we go vintage? What do people need? What in those periods of time, what are people looking at? It's very important. So that even if when you put that trailer, it's up to the standards of that particular moment. It's very, very key in that way. So if you plan well, it's not an easy thing. Right now we're moving into the December season. What are you planning to shoot? If you're shooting now, a horror movie in Christmas? Come on. You make that call. <laughs> in most cases, when you hear about money, as most of the people will forget to see, I'm taking this money. But what are the principles? What are the rules? What are the regulations? What are the guidelines? What does my contract say in this? There are so many contracts designed from different, uh, different depending on who is your content buyer, who is taking your content. If it's Ugandan content, it's different. If the content is to be distributed outside East Africa, it's different. Please and please and please stop being wise. Find a legal person to help you in this. Before you look at the money you're taking, understand what are the consequences? What are the do's and don'ts? Stop reading, I, Matov Osman, I receive this amount and put the signature there. It's more than that. Sometimes your voice is sold. Sometimes your pictures are sold, but you don't know. Sometimes you have even... Uh, you have even accepted that you can use this picture as many years as possible. Uh, there is a, a friend of mine who was used one time in a, a, a movie. It, it, was, it was a commercial. She signed whatever she signed. And she was supposed to do appearances everywhere the company had promotion. On no cost. And she had already agreed. She signed without knowing what she was signing. Please, it's very important. Go into details. If you don't, we don't understand the language of law. All of us, because we are not law people. Get a lawyer. Get someone. Get a counsel. They help you out. Let them explain. There is no need to rush to, to sign an agreement. Understand. 
what does this mean in my own language what does this mean in my own terms where does it go the realities how much how do i benefit in this so it's very 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 important to get someone who understands the law the biggest challenge right now people in media people in television uh if i take my production to them before they even talk about how much they are giving me they first talk about how much are you leaving behind once we give you the deal and this is really killing the industry it has taken off but it is happening in so many media houses the chin to chidogo thing media managers please stop asking producers for money stop cutting their money if an episode is let me say $1000 and you say we give you $1000 but we take 500 ah that is not good let producers enjoy their time let producers work if maybe someone would love to say a token of that let him do it by himself but under willingness not under those contracts there is right now there is a tv if you don't have 20m on the table you don't have a contract you first deposit 20 on someone's account then they give you a contract so this means someone who doesn't have the money won't be in position to penetrate through and this is really serious another thing is doing off pilot working on pilots after investing in a lot of money and they just say we shall not acquire that is bad why we have no reason speak that so and so did better oh you think is lacking this but if you say we shall not acquire sometimes not acquire because there are six similar productions like mine but one was better but remember as a filmmaker i'm heartbroken like okay i think what i did was trash what i did is not so good maybe i should change to into something else so it is important once you say we won't take your content give reasons to producers a b c d e is the reason why we are not taking your content that that, that makes us understand and it will make producers better the first person who should protect your interests in any contract as a filmmaker it should be you you must understand your stand where are you standing at that particular moment then you come up exactly with what is working for you you will get a deal of 2 years 5 million for example and someone comes in one day 500000 what do you take the 5 million 2 years or the 500 one day that comes back to you if you take the 500 one day it will be shown and the next morning you won't have any money if you take the 5 you'll be okay monday tuesday wednesday friday by saturday it will be over and the next two uh, one and a half years you will be broke still so this comes back to your own uh, percep- as as an, as an artist you must understand what am i looking at because it's very important in all whatever we're saying it's about the journey and every every journey has a climax so what is your climax you take the 500 you take the 2 you take the 10000 us dollars you take the 35 it depends on how you see things i can't i can't personally advise like technical on that but personally uh, i have i've played a game of sacrifice all the time i always put in then i receive later i always put in then i receive later it's not an easy thing one of the great men alex mokulu once told me if you are an artist do you not have love <laughs> For young filmmakers please and please and please go to experienced people and work with them if they tell you this is your particular job make four on that set do as if it's your last time to do it and that will be your key to success in this industry because it's practical it's not it's not an imaginary thing that one day i want to be here and you're going to wake up being the new cinderella on, on the on the door 
you have to work for it. Every 10,000 hours invested in what you do, they pay back. So how much have you spent on your 10,000 hours? On set, sleeping behind? On set, mumbling around without doing anything? Or you really work out to see that you are good to do, you good to go on this. Be patient, be disciplined. And the, uh, I mean, mostly, but the Bible says a man with a vision will always have a provision. So stick on your vision, you'll get there. I wake up at five. I do some uh, video check. Normally, I want to watch new trailers. Then I go into cycling a little bit. I do some cycling. Then listen to some music. <sighs> Off to the town. Tembe, we hustle out to see what we can get. At office, uh, a cup of tea immediately from Sarah. Then um, again, I go to my computer, open up and try to check the reports of the previous day. What content did we receive? What content are we supposed to pay? Stuff like that. Technically, that's my day. The rest is having fun. In the, in the early, early 90s, I started in theater as a drama, drama actor. Then as time moved on, I, I, I decided I, I wanted to make a film. I wanted to make something that I could go back home and see on a VHS tape. So that's how I ended up joining the film industry. I was very green. I knew totally nothing, but I had the passion and I had seen some shows on TV like Didi's Comet Show, uh, Inspector Derrick, that's Life Matter by the Ebons. So I was inspired and said I could do this as well. So I jumped onto the journey of filmmaking. It wasn't an easy one. By the time we had few camera people, no editors, no screenwriters, no professional actors. So what we used, we used the system of stage performing into film. Uh, nah. <laughs> and it took us three years to make the first film. <laughs> every time we had no discipline on how to keep footage, how to download footage. I remember when the piece was already done, edited, and we were out of space. So the editor said, let us delete the footage. We didn't know when you delete the footage before you export, everything turned red. <laughs> and by the time you could, we didn't know that you can, you can, you can repress back footage, stuff like that. So we had to go back into editing again for another month. And we had already ad advertised on the market that the movie is coming out. So that's, it was, a, it was quite an experience. Then in 2006, six, seven, five, around there, the times of prison break, uh, that's, 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 that's the time when the Ugandan industry took off on our side. Uh, this is when we started distributing DVDs because most of the work was on DVDs, direct sales. We started selling DVDs and many and many of them. Because of prison break, people want, had, had seen prison break and it created a lot of mamas around. Uh, homesteads and uh, Bibanda, the, our local cinemas. So it was easier for us to penetrate the market. Then we used that time to sell out our movies and it was it was great. After a few years then, technical, I had, uh, you know, you grow and sometimes you feel like what was, what used to matter then, uh, previously, it doesn't matter now. So I, I had that anxiety of joining, of, of having someone who understand the language uh, that we speak as, as artists. Because most of the time we used to go to televisions, uh, studios, whatever, the broadcast companies, and they could not understand what we wanted from them. So I decided to join the TV industry so that I can open doors for us personally and, and colleagues who are there, which has eventually paid off. It has, it has worked because as, as we speak now, the local content is running in prime time on every TV, which is trying to show the dramas and the series and the movies, at least apart from the current affairs stations. But any other TVs, we, we're doing good right now. We are kicking out the Filipinos and the Turkish and Chinese.